Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, we have something very exciting to discuss. And if we're to believe the latest information that we're going to talk about today, then we could receive the first iOS 10 jailbreak incredibly soon. So huge thumbs up if you're excited about that. Also, be sure to share this video around with your friends because what I'm going to be talking about is very important. I've already received a number of questions on the topic. And in today's video, I'm going to try to clarify everything as quickly and efficiently as possible without really trying to confuse you you guys too much. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. First, there is an individual claiming there's going to be an iOS 10 jailbreak released soon. However, he's not just any individual. He actually shares a link with Pangu. So what I'm going to do first is highlight said link. All right, so this was a screenshot that was leaked of a conversation with this individual right here. The guy claiming that there's going to be an iOS 10 jailbreak released soon. And when we actually switch on over to his Twitter account here, you can see that it is in fact the same individual that I have discussed previously. In fact, this was the same guy who is allegedly able to jailbreak iOS 9.3.4 after the firmware is released to patch the last Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.x. And as for his credentials and in turn his link to Pangu, he is an Android and iOS senior security engineer at Alibaba. For those of you who don't know, Alibaba's primary business, while they do have a number of subsidiaries, which is very important, is essentially the Chinese version of eBay. It's an absolutely massive company. Now, when we go ahead and switch on over here to an article from Forbes, this is where the link starts to become clear. They specifically say right here, in June 2014, Alibaba acquired the PP assistant marketplace, also known as 25PP, via the purchase of browser maker UC Web. So in acquiring a company named UC Web, Alibaba in turn also acquired 25PP. For those of you who remember, 25PP is essentially Pangu's partner when it comes to releasing jailbreaks. They do have other monetary interests in jailbreaking, and they oftentimes bundle their software with jailbreaks, particularly for Chinese users. In fact, at first for the iOS 9.3.x jailbreak, we had to utilize the PP Combination Pangu app before Pangu released their strictly dedicated English version or English adaptation of the same jailbreak application. So that's the link. This guy here is essentially a senior security engineer at Alibaba who in turn acquired a company that owned 25PP. And again, 25PP is Pangu's partner when it comes to monetizing their jailbreaks. So again, this guy is definitely an insider to say the least. So now let's go ahead and switch on over to the new information. Well, he essentially said this on Weibo, a Chinese microblogging site on November 11th. And when it's translated, it comes out to this. Now, it's not really going to make too much sense, so I do have my own translated version of what he actually said in his post. We'll get into that after the direct translated version though. Quote, how to speak iOS jailbreak 10 will be open out. If this continues soon, iOS jailbreak and have become as popular as the Android route. Of course, someone temporary break and agreement is possible. So no, then do not cut me. So what the heck does that mean? Because of course there is a lot lost in translation here. Well, as I said, I have my own translated version, which goes something like this. The iOS 10 jailbreak will be open source, so to speak. If this continues soon, iOS jailbreaking will become as popular as rooting on Android. Of course, unforeseen delays are possible. So don't kill or blame me if they don't release it soon. So guys, this is some very exciting stuff. He clearly knows what he's talking about. This is a prominent figure in iOS and Android security research within a company that in essence owns the primary partner of Pangu. Of course though, even this insider does stress that unforeseen delays are possible. Of course, as I've mentioned a number of times throughout my videos, the release of any jailbreak tool is always heavily contingent upon what Apple is actually doing. So for more information on that, as well as possible delays, definitely check out my jailbreak update playlist. I will have it linked down below in the description, of course, as always. But the primary thing to take away here is that A, a jailbreak could be released very soon for iOS 10, and B, that it may be open source. Guys, that is absolutely huge. The second part, B, may actually be more important than the fact that we could get a jailbreak soon. Because with it being open source, that means in addition to releasing a jailbreak, they'll also release the source code to said jailbreak, again, provided they do actually intend on making it open source. And if it is open source, then more individuals with interest in jailbreak
deal breaking, whether they're security researchers or novices on the topic altogether, could very well try to piece things together on their own. And hopefully we could receive some more talent in the realm of jailbreaking as a direct result of this. So all around, this is absolutely fantastic news. Of course, though, we don't know what exactly is going to happen. And we also don't have a release time frame. Again, while he did post this on the 11th, he didn't give any sort of dates or targeted firmwares. So of course, I will keep you guys fully updated anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And then also just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.